Hello guys, Norwich City Central. I hope you guys are all doing okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content from Ipswich. It was certainly a lot of fun to go to. Um, you know, being the East Anglian Derby. And this is my Norwich City 2018-2019 season prediction video. Now that the transfer windows have shut around Europe and with the EFL loan market and finishing on the last day of August, the squad is now pretty settled. Um, and I think it's a good time to kind of make my predictions and kind of see where we at, where we're at. Um, really interested to look back to see possibly how wrong I might be um, come May. But I'm gonna believe I'm gonna leave the things I'm gonna be predicting in the um, description of the video. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below and some of the predictions. For example, who you think might be our top goal scorer, where you think Norwich will finish, and things such as that. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. But yeah, let's start with my season predictions for Norwich City. And I'm going to be starting with who I think will be the top goal scorer. Um, obviously, we've made a lot of improvements offensively this season uh, with the likes of Jordan Rhodes and Timu Puki. Um, I still think we're perhaps one winger short, maybe. Um, someone you know dynamic who can stretch defences like Ono Hernandez. But I think the top scorer is going to be Timu Puki. Love the look of him. He's doing very well in, in the international break. Timu Puki, you're going to be the top goal scorer for Norwich City. And also the top assist maker, well, Ono Hernandez has already got a few assists in that crazy game against West Brom, and I think the Cuban is going to be our, our top assist maker, causing havoc down the wing. Now moving on into my surprise package of the season, and the surprise package of the season I think is going to be Max Ahrens. We've already, already seen him start one game for Norris City, and I predict Max Ahrens to be our first choice right back, starting around 30 games for Norris City this season. And turning into a revelation. Max Ahrens is going to be my surprise package of the season. And he's going to do brilliantly in that right back role. And now most improved player of the season. For me, looking back at last season. Ono Hernandez. He's played about 12 games. Didn't get a goal. Got very few assists. And he's already started the season with a couple of goals and a few assists. I believe he's going to kick on and continue getting some goals. And getting plenty of assists as well. And Ono Hernandez is going to be the most improved player upon last season. And I can't wait to see him cause havoc down the wing, as I've said twice, because you know he's going to cause havoc. I'm moving on to my young player of the season. I'm including players who are under the age of 23. And I think the young player of the season is going to be Jamal Lewis. He looks brilliant, doesn't he? Uh, offensively, he's looked like he's you know a player who is certainly improving and defensively as well. He's, he's looking brilliant. So, But both areas of his game, defensively and offensively, he's looking great. And... You know, he's getting into that Northern Ireland team now. He's trying to be a regular there. And, you know, he's got the potential to be a regular at Norwich for the next few seasons if he stays. I love the look of him. And I think he's going to be our young player of the season. And for our player of the season, you've got names in there, haven't you? You've got the potential of Grant Hanley, who came second last season. You've also got Odell Hernandez, perhaps, TB Pookie, Jordan Rhodes. For me, my player of the season is going to be TB Pookie. I just like the look of him. Um, he's making some great runs in behind. I expect him to get assists. I expect him, as I said, to be the top scorer in the team. They're just, I just like the look of him. And it's very something, it's something Grant Holt esque about him. And I love the story of Timu Puki, the striker from Finland, to be true, and for him to get a lot of goals. And to him, for him, I think he'll be the player of the season. Yeah, Timu Puki, player of the season. Now for the big question: Where will Norwich finish this season? Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. For me, I think my heart is telling me Norwich will sneak into the playoffs and finish 6th, but my head is telling me Norwich City will finish 10th this season, and I predict Norwich to finish 10th this season, going with my head. Um, but my yellow and green heart is saying 6th. Um, I think with Daniel Farker, I, I think there are constraints into how far we can go. I don't think Daniel Farker is you know, the worst manager ever, obviously. I think I love how he's introducing youth into the team. And I'd love to... Daniel Farker's a really nice guy as well. I'd love to see him, you know... Be successful with Norwich and you know finish finish in the top six. But from what I've seen so far, I'm just not convinced our football is good enough to finish in the top six. And I, I, we've got the players too. Like last season, we had the likes of James Madison, Angus Gunn. Obviously, it was apparently a transitional season. Even though Leeds United, ten out of their eleven players played in May last season, and now they're like world beaters. You know, they're top of the league. So you know. I th I think I think we got we had a great squad last season and this squad as well this season. I think I think. You could argue, you could even argue it's improved because it's a better rounded squad and we've got better offensive options. But for me, I just don't think our style of play in this league will work under Daniel Farker. I love it too. I love the guy, um, and I'd love to see him take Norwich into the, into the playoffs. But I just don't think it's going to happen with him. Um, so yeah, I, I think we're going to finish tenth. And in terms of the in terms of the team and the teams who I think are going to go up, I think the top two is going to be Middlesbrough and West Brom. 
I think in the playoff spots are going to be Leeds, uh, Sheffield United, I think Brentford will, and Derby. Although my heart is saying that Derby will finish 7th and Norwich will finish 6th. Um, but yeah, these are my predictions. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, who do you think is going to be top scorer? I think TV Pookie. Do you guys think maybe Jordan Rhodes? Where do you guys think Norwich City will finish? My heart's telling me 6th. Um, is my heart lying to me? I think so. But you know, you know, you guys might think we might we might sneak into the top six spots. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, subscribe to Norwich City Central if you're new. Um, thanks for watching all the content over the last over the last month. Um, you know, with, with the match day experiences seem to be really really popular, which I love to see. Um, and yeah, I, I love how you guys are kind of enjoying the content. I mean, it means a lot. So thank you. I'll see you later. Subscribe to Norwich City Central, and I'll see you later.